All right, this is recap number six, and we are almost at the end. Recap, recap, sun, all right. So, um, okay, word, please. Okay, so first file, we're going to do the sun. I got six pages, and I think I got eight pages for Shakira. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So let's transition here. All right, so past Patrick asked the rod, is the sun still shining? The rod says, no. Patrick asks, if, if he has a strong connection with source. And source says, yes. Whoop, it's missing an R here. Then when Wayne has a problem with how to word a question for the sun, and come up with this. Is man correct on our thoughts of where we are in the Milky Way? Then Patrick has the, the pendulum. Is that because of the terror? Uh, Patrick asks, is that because of the theory that we have moved from one part to another part? Wayne says, yes, sir, approximately 50,000 light years. And then Wayne laughs. <laughs> Patrick then says, we could word that several ways. We could say, is our position in the Milky Way constant? Wayne posed the question, may we speak with the sun? Yes. Thank you, sun. Are we where we think we are in the Milky Way? And if not, how wrong are we? Pat mentioned here that it's always a good sign when the pendulum swing clockwise. Sun, our position, he said, the sun says, our position in the Milky Way is not fixed. We can move across the galaxy. There are unseen forces that are applied to all things, and this force change the position of all celestial body. Finish. And then some of the time, may we speak with the sun? Yes. Wayne says, yes, sun, a question. Do you have a cycle of high and low energy prediction? The sun says, yes. Wayne asks, son, may we ask a question on the cycle of X class Nova? Do you have a cycle? The sun responds. These events that are witnessed, witnessed can sometimes be classed as a cycle, but this is not always the case. They are psycho, but there is also individual event depending on what region of space we are entering. Then Wayne asks, is the sun under attack? The sun reply, the effort to attack me is not new. It happens all the time. I can be affected by many things, mostly electrical. This affects my frequency and effort. I'm not sure effort is correct word. Please, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> she was not sure. Okay, I didn't see that. <laughs> Sorry, people. Anyway, then later on, Wayne asked uh, to speak with the son again. He asked the question. The question that has been put forth is, are you generating a possible solar flash or micronova? Then the sun says, that is underway. Uh, then Wayne says, people want to know, are you connected? Are you connected to the great central sun? And what is the great central sun? The sun replied, there is a great central sun. 
Patrick says, I've never heard of it myself. That exists at the Universal Center. I have an energetic connection. Patrick says again, I've never heard of such a thing. And me, I say, yes, I have heard about that. And it's in the Urantia book here. Uh, I'm going to put the link uh, in the description box, okay? So then Wayne asked the question. The question is, son, how many planets are under our gravi gra gravitational influence and what body control the rest? Interesting question. The sun says, there are many body within my solar system. They're the number in the hundred. They are attracted to my electrical energy and frequency. The, there are other bodies that are attracted to other star that are coming very close to us. And there are many come a time when we exchange planets finish. Then Wayne says, hello son, it has been postulated by men that there was a collision of two galaxies. Are we a part of the Sagittarius elliptical dwarf galaxy or not? The son says, that was not always the case, although it is now. What is now? Are we part of the Sagittarius or not? Okay. <coughs> <coughs> so uh, what is now is probably the collision, I think. Anyway, Wayne, the sun is the collision still ongoing and are you aware of any change that may be com coming forward as a result of this collision? The sun replied, yes, the collision is ongoing. Galaxy are intertwining. Solar system are merging. The outcome is unknown, although it will take a very long time. Okay. Yeah, a very long time can mean a very long time, but it's that's what is happening right now. So, son, may we speak with you another time? Yes. Son, it's been asked, are you are you still emitting light? At this point, the pendulum is swinging widely across the chart. Wayne says, "Wow." Wow. Patrick says, He's going to put the pendulum back in place. Wayne says, I'll tell you what. After that, son, I respect you. And then he asks, Do you have something you would like to tell us? Uh, have you the... You have the floor, sir. Then the son says, Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. It is a very serious message that I have. I am undergoing a change. The human expression is dead. But I and my children do not look at it that way. Change is inevitable and create new opportunity for all, including me. So let's ask the son, son, sir, may we have a moment with you, sir? Yes. Thank you. We appreciate that. Son, the question has come, and I don't know, does the number of time scale of 12068 mean anything to you? Son says no. Then... Uh, the other question, son, while we have you, sir, the question has been asked, do you have your own name for yourself? 
The son says, this question was answered by my favorite daughter, Earth Frequency. Then, well, they like to be called a uh, frequency, so we just say sun frequency, right? So the next question is sun, sir. Good to meet you, sir. I will say sun frequency now. Yes, sir. Uh, the question has been asked, do you consider yourself a young star or an old star? Thank you. That is a good question. Inside, I am young. Outside, I'm not so much. So then the question was, all right, let's ask the son, is he shedding his skin met metaphorically? Son, are you shedding your skin? The son says, as already mentioned, I am going through a micronova this way. I expel a lot of my energy, which get replaced from inside, and I feel renewed. So then, sun frequency, are you there? Yes. It is good to talk to you, sir. The question is this. You inform us that you're in the process of a micronova. Can you tell us what will happen to human life? Thank you. Then the sun says, there will be changes, not necessarily catastrophic, but ph physiological changes and increase in frequency, electrical activity, and energy signature. This is part of your ascension finish. So, so sun, have you micronova in the past and what did it do to human then? Yes, I have gone through this process several times, although human life has not always been present. Recent human civilization before yours have already ascended. So I'm thinking it's prob probably was the Mayan or something like that. Wayne says, son, I'd like to ask you another question. Do you know of the Archon? The son says, the Archon mistakenly believe they have all the power. They are suddenly mistaken. They will be dealt with. All right. So another time. Wayne says, hello, sun frequency, how are you? Sun says, I am very well, thank you, Wayne. My change is ongoing. Wayne says, we're seeing that, monitoring your surface. Look like you're waking up a little bit. The sun says, it is, it is becoming very interesting, Wayne. Then Wayne says, oh, when you say interesting, that one, that is one I would welcome you in my house to have a tea on that one. Sun frequency, here is a question that you should be best to answer. The question is this, like the, pro, uh, the, the photoelectric effect that apply to exchange electron and atoms. Is there a similar law which govern the exchange of planet? Thank you. It affect not necessarily govern. It affect the physically, physicality of the planet and may result in some leaving, some joining. But spiritual sense, the consciousness within is not affected by this. Wayne asks, Son, I just saw, I don't know if you put the image in my head, but you see planet come and go, don't you? The sun says all the time. Wayne repeat all the time. The sun says, yep. Then Wayne says, there has been spe speculated 
that there are many planets that you have control that are in the uh, or cloud. Is it true? That is true. My power extends further than you know. You exchange planet with other sun, don't you? All the time, all the time. So then Wayne asked, there has been speculated that there are many planets. Uh, just put that there. Okay. So then here Wayne says, how marvelous is that? I'm in the ha. That's all I have to say. I'm in the ha. The son says, like children exchanging toy, Wayne. Then Wayne says, it's how you process work. The son says, correct. Then Wayne says, Son, it has been suggested that man's ability to measure your age is so far off. It has been said that you could be over a hundred trillion years old. Is that true? The son says, and the rest, Wayne. Men's calculations are not anywhere close to reality. Is the son, uh, Wayne asked the son, Son, I have another question that's on my mind. Do we live in a holographic simulation of a sort? The son says, Yes, but the consciousness part of you is genuine and come from outside this holographic reality. Wayne says, Yeah, I. Well, thank you, son. Uh, thank you so much. You just blew my. You just blew me away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. The sun says you're welcome. Always good to talk with you. Then Wayne says you're wonderful. Thank you. Wow. Not that was substantive. And another time, sun frequency. May we speak with you, sir? Uh, yes, hello Wayne. Wayne says, how are you? The son says, I'm adjusting to my new situation, but I'm okay. Wayne says, I see it seems like uh, things are starting to get he heated up with you, just figuratively speaking. The son says, it's becoming very interesting. So, yeah, that's how slow things are. <laughs> then Wayne says, from our point of view, particularly sun frequency, the question has been asked, are there any draft star close to you? Or yes or no, I guess, is the question. Close is a relative term, but I can sense a draft star. star yes. Then Wayne says, thank you, son. And that's the question. I realized when I said close that you're dealing your terminology and mine. Mine is very finite. The question has been asked that in the Kipper belt, are we going to be discovering new, new planet? The son says, I believe I have said before that there are a planet that you do not know as yet. Do you not know of as yet? The solar system is bigger than you have been taught. And I say, yeah, and suns are exchanging planet like an atom is exchanging electron. We were told last show, right? So Wayne says, right, excellent point of view. Sun frequency, the question has been asked, is space a liquid? Then uh, Sun says, that is a good way to explain it, but it's not tangible in a sense. That is more liquid, that is solid. Sun frequency, I just add an image that it's almost like we're in a serum. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's tangible, isn't it? The sun says, 
It's more of a mixture of reality. Wayne says, oh, I can see that. I can see that. Sun frequency, there's been a que the question that you are in a period of what we call weakness. But I have to ask you, sir, is this really a period of rest for you? The son reply, it is simply a period of change. I am getting stronger at all time. I have never been weak. Wayne says, thank you. I appreciate that. That is a very good way of saying it. I appreciate the correction on that. Sun frequency, I think we may have asked this question before, but I'll ask it again. Do you have a twin or a couple of of other star? I don't know whether to say brothers or sisters, but are you alone or are these other star that dance with you? Then the sun says, very well put, Wayne. There are other stars outside my influence. There is a tiny star, very tiny star at the center of the earth frequency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was on the last show. Then uh, Wayne asked sun frequency, I think I saw that. It's almost like it's a dance, a very graceful dance, like a waltz that the sun says, but I have no clue what that is. Then the wind says, yes, sir, that's exactly what I saw. That's what I saw. I saw what, I, what was a white and blue dancing, and it's beautiful. Well, thank you, Sun Frequency. Is there anything you would like to talk to us about? The Sun says, I am pleased that many of your community are speaking with the planet with my system. Uh, I would also like to be spoken to on a regular basis. I can, uh, Wayne says, I can assure you, sir, we will. We honor you. We speak favor into you and much love. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in this body, and we thank you for that. Carolyn says, can I ask a question, please? The son says, yes, certainly. Carolyn says, Sun Frequency, is there any life form on your surface or inside you? And then the sun says, I don't wish to upset you, young lady, but I cannot answer that at the moment. I said, okay, thank you. Then when says, Sun Frequency, we thank you, sir. Then I say, yeah, you know who says no word consent? No word consent. Yeah, if you do, if you don't if if I don't tell you, I consent. Oh, I see. Well, that's all I have for the sun. Uh, I hope to speak with you again, Wayne. Then Wayne says, "Thank you. You're beautiful. I love you. I love how the question was answered. Um, is." On his space a liquid that was so interesting and this is all I got up for this sun uh, last uh, file will be a uh, Shakira and the domain so that's going to be the last file okay and we only talk to uh, Shakira like uh, on talking with the planet 12 and 13. So here we go. Wayne asks, how do you feel, Patrick, about reaching out to the domain? Do you think maybe we could? Patrick says, are they still there, Wayne? 
Wayne says, I don't know. It seems like it was very recent, no matter what the Rosewell incident was. These uh, creatures, these beings have been captured. We know that. Their craft have been captured. Patrick says, we can only ask. Wayne says, uh, we can only ask. So, are you ready, my friend? We already jumped off the cliff. Uh, Patrick says, tell everybody to hit record, Wayne. <laughs> then Wayne says, yes, so this is going to be a first. I do not know of any place, ladies and gentlemen, the folks that are listening, where mm, I think anyone tried to make contact with the domain. I don't think. Then Patrick says, can I just say, I mentioned it to Wayne earlier in an email. If I get a UFO overing my, over my house, it's his fault. <laughs> and then when Wayne says, as I said, I've got great tea. Come on down and lend the crab. We'll have a great time. We've got uh, great music. That's what I want to ask the planet like music. They do. Yes, they do. Patrick confirmed they do. So Wayne goes on. All right, Patrick, I feel completely safe and confident on this. So this question is going to be, we are asking to speak to a representative of the domain expert, ex Petitionary force. Is there such a present out there? Yes. Answer from the domain. I don't know why TD. The domain. Okay, the domain. Okay, then Wayne asks, How should we properly, properly address you? Uh, the domain says, You may address us simply as the domain. Wayne as I'm feeling the energy says he's feeling the energy. Thank you. It is taught by many earthling humans that you are nothing more than a figment of disinformation of our government of fiction writer. It's a pleasure to know that you exist. Thank you. You're welcome. Then Wayne goes on. We have a story of one of your representative that says that there was a lost expedition here on this planet and that you, your, mm, I don't know how to say it, your government or representative that we are a prison planet. Can you confirm that has either true or false and the domain says earth has always been a prison planet so in the number five we got the same answer then says Wayne says always uh, the domain says always Wayne says thank you why do I get the sense that you're I have a sense of more of a feminine present is that uh, the domain says I, the individual speaking, is of the feminine gender. Wayne says, I sense that. I have a lot of questions. So the first is hurt. Um, then the domain says, we will accept any question. We also acknowledge that we do not have to answer all questions. Then Wayne says, you've just confirmed something very no one could have known that. Thank you, thank you. Man, I feel like I've got hand crawling all over me. Patrick says, you okay, Wayne? Wayne says, yeah. Mm, this is, it's kind of, Patrick says, they were very forceful. Wayne says, yeah, very. I got the sense I was dealing with uh, someone very, very, very old. All right, so let's, all right, folks, 
everyone everyone is feeling it too Wayne is out of his mind is just blown he's just blown and Patrick says yeah it's strong Wayne says it is very strong you know wow okay let's just talk among 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 ourselves here this is an, an, an opportunity then Patrick says can you just say to the lady concerned that we'll be back to her shortly. We don't want to keep her hanging. Wayne says yes. Patrick says we'll have a little chat if you understand our position. Then Wayne says may we take a few a minute please ma'am. That's my uh, Nomenclature, yeah, two thousand mm, dollar word, Wayne. So the domain says we shall give you some leeway at this time. Wayne says thank you. Then Patrick says, the energy, Wayne, that's crazy, man. Let me let me tell you what I'm getting a sense. And folks, uh, you are all witnessing this live, so there's more than one here. Patrick says, yeah, there's more than one, definitely. There might be uh, one group, one company, one battalion, whatever they call themselves. When it says, I'm getting it's flooding, it's almost like they're all standing around. Patrick says, we turned the light on, Wayne. Wayne says, yeah, yeah. All right, you know, when you're being hit with this kind of impression, it's, I kind of see their face. I mean, this is weird. Patrick says, I can feel their emotion. Wayne says, yeah, that's what I'm being. That's why I can't get the word out there. Too many talking at the same time. That's what I'm here. That's what I'm hearing. How are you feeling, Patrick? You've got your end on the other side of the positive charge here. <laughs> Patrick says, "I feel fine as long as they leave afterward. I'm happy." Root, you know, kindred tarot root who. We know I had her dog that died uh, 23 years ago with me for three days over the weekend until I sent Root an email saying how much the dog loved her. Wayne says, excellent, excellent. Well, I think we need to get some question here. They know that we're a, they know that we're a prison planet. I like to know how we got here. So Wayne says, may we address to the representative of the experiment, uh, uh, the domain. Yes, I'm still here, Wayne says. Thank you, thank you for your patience. You have stated that Hurt has always been a prison planet that has been confirmed by other perspective. May I ask, how did we get here? How did we get into this prison? The domain says, if you are talking about the physical human that was created, if you are talking about the essence inside the human that is intern eternal and was tricked into this prison, Wayne says, we are not all of the same place then. The, uh, the domain says, no, you are from different area of the universe. You are from far outside your own galaxy. Wayne says, in this prison, are there different degree of authority? The domain says, there is a conflict between races of being that hope to seize control of this prison planet. There is much interest in this small, tiny dot. 
So then Wayne says, yes, we feel that. Is there a name that we should address you with, with personally? The domain says the closest translation would be Shakira. Then Wayne says, honored to meet you. Your presence, Shakira. Thank you. You are. Tra are you trapped here with us? Shakira says, not trapped. On a mission. Wayne says, is it possible we have been told that your, and I just use your domain, is a species that is heading to the center of our galaxy? Is it true? And Shakira says, this is a goal. We are not there yet. Then Wayne says, do you have a member here on this planet now? Shakira says, some of, of your kind are walking on your, some of our kind are walking on your planet. They look like you, but they are not you. Wayne says, I've been told that. I've just been asked, do you have a presence in the asteroid belt? Shakira says, we have a presence throughout our solar system. Wayne says, the next question is, is space, is escape possible? Shakira says, possible but highly unlikely. So then Wayne says, Shakira, I, I have to tell you, that's very depressing, but I think you know that already. That's all I have for the moment. I thank you, Shakira. Thank you. Uh, you're more than welcome to communicate with myself at any time. And I'll let my friend Patrick speak for, for himself, but it has been a delight and an honor. Uh, may we speak again? Shakira says, just call me by name. I will respond. Wayne says, thank you. Then uh, on another show, Patrick says, wow, that is completely different to any other connection I've had. Was it another show? No, it was just after that. Okay. Her feminine power, it's almost like talking to a policeman. Do you know what I mean? Wayne says, that was the impression I got, authority. Patrick says, yeah, there was a definite authority. We weren't only talking to the, the individual, we were talking to the whatever rank she is. Then Wayne says, whatever it was, when we got back, in touch. The quickness seized in my head. So I knew something was, you know, who knows? Maybe we're the first one to reach out and talk to them. You know, it's a question I don't understand about the UFO community is that if these beings are such high intelligence, sentient. They would have telepathic ability and skill that I don't understand. We're not engaging. We don't need a government unless there are a covenant or a contract that would prevent this. My friend, you and I, we're going to have to get together on a separate one and just begin to really talk on 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 this one because I don't know I think this one opens up a whole uh, Patrick says new show alien adventure <laughs> when says you know that is a good idea there is not one out there doing any type of uh, physically telepathically uh, engaging of ET I think we ought to make it part of this show. At this point, there were too much uh, chit chat, talk over, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, 
Lee couldn't uh, transcript. Then Wayne says, well, I kind of, I kind of look at it at this, this way, my friend. Who better to know about the universe than the one that are already traveling it? Uh, Lee, I know when you do the transcript on this one, this one is going to be heavily requested. I can see it already. Patrick says, I've still got that going through. I can still feel her presence in here. There's a residue. Wayne says, there is, there is. I got this sense, uh, Patrick says, Wayne, Wayne, I'm blown away. Wayne says, well, you saw it with me when we first connected. It was a cacophony of voice. That's all I could hear. It was like someone was sitting at a monitor and said, holy crap, we got one. <laughs> Much laughter came out of here. Uh, and I mean, uh, everyone drop what they're doing. Come over and say, what do, what do they want? What do they want? You know, we're all going, Patrick says. Ask them this, ask them this, Wayne says. And I got the sense that however, whatever it is, I just want to say it's feminine, but it's authoritarian. Then Patrick says, uh, very authoritarian. Yeah, better not upset this one like you did the sun. You'll be in trouble, Wayne says. No, no, because I think they can come visit my ass. Much laughter. And then Patrick says, what you're trying to say? Wayne says, yeah, we're going to show you a little respect. Then Patrick says, you're talking to me? Yeah, they're kind of joking around here. Okay, so on the last show, well, here's one question that, you know, uh, what's her name? It was, uh, uh I can't believe Wayne didn't remember her name. Then Patrick says, Shakira was the nearest translation. I don't think that was her actual name, but her, her to translate into English, that was the nearest translation. And what was that again? Shakira, how da da da? Okay, now here we go. Wayne says, so Shakara, when you're here, let us know. I await your question, Wayne. Then when Wayne says, well, may I say thank you for joining us. And I just want to let you know that I and Patrick and others, we deeply respect your time. And so we just want to say thank you ahead of time. Then Shakira says, uh, you're welcome. Then Wayne said, I'd like to know specifically who is responsible for tricking and trafficking of human soul to this soul trap. Do you know? And Patrick says, it's the Archon. Wayne says, are they still here? Yes. Wayne says, I thought so. Shakira, there's been the question of that there was a nuclear war in this quadrant space. Was that to eliminate life or was that simply a defensive attack? I guess is the word I'm looking for. And Shakira says, that was used as an example, Wayne. An example for what? I don't know. Then Wayne says, very good. Uh, very good way to make a point, isn't it? The question that has been asked 
are you involved in altering the current DNA of human on the planet today? Patrick says, we do our part, Wayne. Okay, then Wayne says, is there a purpose for that? The question I'm specifically asking is this. Is this a measure to protect us? Or is this a measure to endure us? It is primarily uh, research. We are very interested in your natural innate ability. Here is my concern, right here says it is research we are very interested in our natural innate ability now uh, I believe from um, my uh, comprehension I think that the Archon are the Elohim and uh, since it's primarily research uh, the breach of dimension was an accident and that's what happened in research. There's accident and discovery with accident. And that's what it is with the Halloween. Uh, they are uh, interested in our natural innate ability. So here we uh, do the link. We have our own ability, but they are not to us. We have to learn how to do these things. You, for some strange reason, just activate a part of your DNA and these ability can be triggered at any time. And this is where uh, the, the, the domain is the fallen angel, I believe. And uh, this is what they are jealous of us. You know, the domain is part of the, um, the Halloween from my uh, feeling. And that's why we should uh, be a little worried about Shakira. And um, this is just my opinion, right? Uh, <laughs> and... See, it's just, it says here, we just have to activate a part of our DNA and this ability can be, can be triggered at any time. And Saturn has been captured by the Elohim from another dimension in order to control us, in order to uh, stop our progression of our ascension, which means stop our ability from growing and they manipulate our DNA. Now, if the domain is manipulating, ma manipulating our DNA, I mean, come on. Uh, this, the domain, the Elohim, they're the same. Shekara, the question is, we know that we are trapped here and you said, that escape was almost impossible, but possible, I believe. The question has been asked, is there a map, so so to speak, in our vernacular that others of us can find, or uh, has that been taken away? Patrick says, it is an individual journey, Wayne. You are all on your own path. All path lead to escape, but you have to make the right turn at the right time. Okay. But there's no map. Shikura, I saw that. Folks, what I just got an image of what uh, of was really, really weird. So I saw a multidimensional dimensional image. Patrick said, says, stretching out in front of you. That's what I saw. Wayne says, yeah. Well, Shakira, it's been asked to, asked or told to me 
are there some of us that are of the three thousand? Uh, Shakira replied, I do not wish to answer that one, Wayne. <coughs> and I believe there is. Then Wayne says, I respect that. The question has been asked, Shakira, is uh, we are seeing a lot of craft in our sky of different shape and many triangle large craft. Are these are yours or are they of another place? It is a mixture. Most of our craft is too well eaten for you to see. Most of the craft you see are actually piloted by human. Then they reverse engineer, didn't they? Correct. Shakira, there has been a question about the domain. You seem to be just another side of those that you have conquered. According to your understanding, there was a thing here called the old empire. The question is, do you value life? Uh, Patrick says, we value existence. Life is eternal. Your physical body may die. You do not. Life, life, if life, it goes on, it just change. Shakira, you said existence. This is very in interesting. It seems like it would have a higher priority than life. Yes, because it is eternal. You exist forever. Wayne says, wow, I know you answered this question that you have encountered other more powerful being tied to earth that we call God, but are they in fact God as they claim to be? No. Wayne says, uh, the question I have to you specifically, Shakira, and I'm actually thinking this question to you because of the complexity of it. Is it is it true that we have been uh, genetically modified to reduce our ability not only through intelligence but through lifespan as well? This is correct. Your lifespan has been deliberately shortened. You should live at least a thousand years. Is there a plan for the domain to eventually manifest before humanity, or is this something that is not how it's done? My communication with you is the first step. We will judge each event as they happen. Wayne says, Shakira, I'm telling you, I have great respect for you. I have a sense that there's others around you. I can sense them. Is there anything you or uh, the group that's around you want to say? Then Patrick says, I am not in charge. I have superior watching me and what I say. I am held accountable. It is a concern as an individual. The domain as a whole have watched her and its inhabitant over many, many millennia. And we feel, we sense there is a culmination approaching. We do not know what will happen. Uh, then Wynne says, thank you, I respect that. And please let your superior know that we want to learn the protocol. And if you can teach us, then I know we'll be able to communicate much more friendly, uh, freely. Then Carol said, I got a question here from Truth in Me. Question for Shakira. Are you part of my past history before I came here? And are you the one who sent me the dream about the communication deck last night? 
then uh, Shakira says, I choose not to answer that question at this time. Wayne says, I have a question, Shakira, for, you super for your superior. And it has been reported to various uh, space agency here on Earth that, and I can only put this one way, that there are new uh, rumors of another force that has entered into this region of space. Is it true? This region of the universe is becoming very crowded, Wayne. There is much interest in what happen in what may happen. It has never happened before. Wayne says, Wow. Then Shakira says, You may say you are the best show in town. Wayne says, Wow. They see it. They see it. And this is all I got for um, um, Shakira. So let's save this. So this is the end of uh, the recap. Of course, it is not perfect. Of course, there is thing thing missing and I can tell myself but this give you uh, s some different uh, perspective on how to look to those questions and it doesn't matter if Patrick come back or not whoever is gonna do that ever again is gonna have to uh, do some serious have to do some serious work here and making sure that those questions evolve and they don't keep on repeating and uh, we are at the point now where it's time to make up your mind y you buy it or you don't if you don't you get out the store period you know and if you buy it well go through the cash okay and that's how it is so if you like it you like it if you don't you don't uh, uh, there's no right or wrong here. It's just a different way. And now it's time for you to uh, do it your own. Is get the chart, go on the legacy, uh, on the Gratz legacy, and there's an email in the about section. You can communicate with me, ask for uh, the chart, and write it in the in the title for the chart and I'm gonna send to you Patrick's chart and get yourself a pendulum uh, put your energy in it for one week under your pillow and uh, you know just start working your own pendulum also there's a video available uh, that Patrick made to help you how to start working your pendulum and I just can't wait to see uh, all of you uh, how you do with your pendulum. Now my next video is going to be the grand final. So that's going to be it for the recap. Bye bye.